No, well, I'm holding. But how does it feel to know that many, many, many people out there love you and many people out there sort of don't get you? Um, that's normal. <laughs> um, I don't try to be got. I definitely am just me, and so however that works out, whatever. But I love that you were able to take Dick and just kind of give it right back to him and not let it get to you. But, you got, but it got to you by the end. You know, it actually wasn't Dick that got to me at the end. There was other circumstances that happened right before that, and it just made it look like it was Dick, but it wasn't. So. You want to share with us what that was? Um, it was that previously I'd asked if I could destroy Dick's cigarettes, and I was told I could. And then um, when it came down to it, they replaced them. And I was very, very upset with, you know, whatever, whatever you want a big brother or whoever you want to make it. So I just freaked out, and I was just so upset. <laughs> Where did you get the, the kind of gumption to have? He was saying mean, amazingly obnoxious things right to your face, and you would just smile. Oh, well, it was basically because many of the things he was saying, I'd say 95 to 8% of them were completely like him just stating things that weren't even true. So it didn't really bother me. I mean, how are you going to get mad when people are, like, telling you things, like, that aren't you? I was just like, seriously? Like, that's all you have? Like, that's not even me. Like, don't you know me? Because obviously you don't. I'm kind of like you. I hold a grudge. I did not, I'm not surprised that you voted for Danielle. I'm not surprised. Well, it's not... kind of mean to you, too. Yeah, well, that's why when I put my key in, I said, well, I don't want to vote for either of you, but I have to vote for one of you. And I figured that she could do more with the money, and who knows what he's going to do with it, so... That was the laugh of the night, by the way, when you said, I don't really want to vote for either of you. <laughs> if not those two, who would you have voted for? Anyone. <laughs> if anyone was sitting next to either one of them, they would have got my vote. Now, I think I appreciated when you saw your picture, but you didn't like it. You're going to hear this a lot. But then when you started crying, I think you lost people because it was like, she's you're a beautiful girl, Jen. You can't take a bad picture. Well, you didn't see the picture. I watched the show every day. Okay, but this is what I have to say because I had to say it before. Okay, so you look at the picture, right? Like I look at this right here. And then you zoom in on it, and it's different. <laughs> and it's different. Like it didn't look as bad. Even when they gave it to us on a cake, like it didn't even look as bad. I was like, oh. It, it was one of the most amazing moments in Big Brother history, and I know that you said you didn't ha haven't seen the show before, but I watched Stun going, this is a beautiful girl. What is she seeing that we're not seeing? Uh, I don't know. I'm picky. <laughs> it will haunt you for the rest of your life. Probably. My bad picture. What are you going to do? Uh, but Eric here wanted to know if it was, it was real. You were being sincere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a horrible picture. <laughs> I'm being completely sincere. I like, had talks in the diary room. I'm sure as I saw it being aired, I'm like, it's horrible. Like, I, I saw, like, a, a little clip of it, and I'm like, oh, no. Well, Amber got you off the hook because she cried so much about everything that people forgot that you were crying so much. But Well, I, that's the, I cried about, that's the funny thing everyone was bothering me about was that how could you put up with Dick so much and you don't even care, and then you cry over a picture. Like, but it's different. <laughs> well, that was my question. You, it seemed to be kind of, why are you crying over the picture when Dick is screaming in your face about what a miserable B you are and a C you are? Because no. those things are untrue, and it was a horrible picture. <laughs> Now, so much of what we know off camera from the website, you know, you're a nanny, you're a model, you're an actress, you're a dude, Tracy Metcalf, I mean, I'm doing the dude, all that stuff was thrown out there on TV. Oh, no. Does it feel weird to know that so much of this stuff is known by people? Yeah, like a couple of words you just mentioned, like, bother me. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, not like that. Not like I'm mad at you, like, oh, no. And showtime and people saying things that they didn't mean to say. Who's <laughs> my friends? No, I guess we'll see. I don't know. Are you waiting to watch the show and see what? You, I mean, you can't know what was happening, but we saw stuff. A lot of people keep telling me things, and it's definitely making it more interesting for me to watch. I kind of at first was like, yeah, I'm going to watch, and then I'm like, you know what, I don't care. Now I'm like, oh, God, I have to watch. <laughs> I would love to talk to you after you've seen everything, because yeah. you got some great things people said, and then you had some really horrible things people said. Yeah, but most of the horrible things run true, <laughs> so it's okay. Very nice meeting you. <laughs> Thank you.